Hey guys, welcome again, and we are back with another video. If you are new to the page, please subscribe, share, comment down below, and join the family where we're dropping videos back to back for the end of the year of 2019 where we serve God and we give God all the praise and glory that is due into his name. So today I wanted to come back with another questionnaire for my children. Since they always busy, I sat them down today because I wanted to know their opinion and views of how they feel about church and what does it mean to them. Okay, the first person I'm going to ask, when I call your name, please state your name, your full name. All right, the first person. Samantha. Samantha Pierre. And Sasha. How I, feel, how I feel about church. I just asked you for your name. Oh. Okay, JJ. Jeremiah Pierre. None of y'all have middle names. <laughs> Daniel. Well, I don't want to share middle name. Yeah. All right, so nobody have um, uh, a middle name. Actually, Samantha um, name full name is Samantha Sasha Pierre Jeremiah, Jeremiah Titus Pierre Daniel Malachi Pierre. Yo, representing for the Pierre family, we have Messiah. Messiah. Hallelujah! But he's he's finally <laughs> drunk, and we gonna keep it like that. He drank he a bottle and he's, he's knocked out. That's all we want. Okay, so today I'm going to ask Samantha a very important question to all my guys and ladies. Okay, Samantha, um, how do you feel about God? He's good. And that he does everything for everyone. And that he's very serious and he's willing to forgive anyone who will repent and come. What do God mean to you? How, 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 how do you embrace him? How, what do he mean to you? God means everything to me. He's very good. And that, like, if he does, like, I do, like, if, he, like, if I'm blessed with something, or if I'm happy about something that happens, if, I, if I'm about something that happens, I just, like, meditate and, like, give him, like, respect that. So, you know, reward him back. What about you, JJ? What do you think about God? Um, 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 <laughs> uh, without him, uh, all my favorite things would have been made, and so of that, uh, I, he's the best, I can't stop thinking about him every day, and, and I never stop thinking about him when I lost something. And so what are you trying to tell me? You only want God to buy you things? No. I How important is he to you? Infinity important. Why? Because um, good. Um, very good. 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 Alright, Daniel. We got umbrella up in the streets. <laughs> what God means to you? Five years later. <laughs> what does he mean to you, Daniel? How important is God is to you? Why? What does he do for you? He wake you up. Wake me up. And that day. Okay, Samantha. How do you feel when you go to church? Um, this is very um popular because and I have I have been making them go to church since they were born, and I would just like to know their point of view of how they feel about church. See, if a child is not active in a church, or like you see a child sleeping on the phone, that means whatever is going on is boring to them, and so it's like not fun. 
And I feel like learning about God should be creative and fun with it so that children won't sleep in church or just like sit down and do nothing or be on their phones. It's kind of like disrespectful. And I'm not going to lie, I some kids want to stand up, pray when they're supposed to. Like if a child of a church, you could tell and see it because they participate in everything they do. Sometimes you just have to ask a child, do you like your church? Do you feel like it's like, it's going your way? How you feel about it? You can't just like go to church you can't just go to church and forget about a child because your child has to go through life hurt on himself as well, so it should be fair. What about you, JJ? Um, what I feel about church is that at church, even though it's not childish, I learn stuff about God. I just... I just understand what they say. <laughs> and what I, do you like about church? Um that we can sing a lot of songs that about God. What's one of your favorite songs in church? Um That means you're awesome. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, go, go, go. That's cringy. Uh, <laughs> be cringy. Stop being cringy. All right, Daniel, what do you like about church? Songs. What song do you like? All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right, guys. So, Samantha, how do you feel in the place? How do you feel? Where do you feel you're at with God? Be careful your hand, Daniel. It's stuck. I made your hand where do you feel you at with God at this point in I, church? Um, church? Where do you feel? How do you feel like? To be honest, when I was younger, I was deeply in God. I was like everything about him, like everything, everything. But like after the fifth grade, I just like changed. What happened? Like I just got disabled for like two years and then. Wow. Do you feel guilty? Of course. Like who wouldn't feel guilty? Because like. You know how to be younger, you just pray about everything, like, you don't like do this, you don't lie. You feel like your prayer don't have strength anymore? Yeah, it's like weak. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I'm done. Yeah, and, and I, I like, I like. You that. lost the passion? No, no passion, like, I got passion, trust. But, like, it's like, I I look at the Lord as a regular person. Like, if you ask him for something, but you know you're doing bad, why even ask him, like, it's not like. So you think you've been doing too bad so that he won't hear from you if you right. speak to him? I I mean, no, it's not like that. It's like when I speak to him, it's like I know he's listening, but at the same time, I know, like, my heart. And, I'm like, and what turned your heart that way? What Did it have anything to do with church being um, disabled, boring, in your opinion? You felt like you lost the passion from the activities Happy. lost? Because when we was younger, we used to go to Revelation. I was always on top of it. I was on top of my religious like I don't know what happened after. It's because their um the um Sunday school is gone. It's because um kids yeah. ministry is gone. gone like, and this is where you found your passion to serve Christ. You see, in the world we live in, children cannot be without kids ministry because adult ministry and kids ministry are two different things. We all know that children, it takes them a lot to stay focused. So you have to make it interesting and fun so that they can understand. And the way we do that is we make them know who God is in a fun way, in a playful way, in a happy way. You know, because a lot of times we could come to church and we see demons get cast out. They don't understand all that concept. They don't understand all the um, jumping and the um, when people um like getting released and freed. They don't understand that. So it's to me, and besides, it's always good to have like their space and their quality time because at the end of the day, when demons come out, it always come to the um, ones who's least strong. And children shouldn't be in that circle, in that place. 
That's why we have kids ministry where they can develop their talent, their gift that God has given them and to know how to use it for the kingdom's glory. So Samantha, do you feel like if the king, um, kids ministry would be more active and fun and interesting that it would give you that passion back for Christ? Yeah, I would, but like for most of the kids, I understand kids, like you don't know what kids go through at school, so like they deflate all the time. What do you think you, you don't dislike the most in church oh. that other kids do or? The way people just stare. People just stare? They stare too much. And don't really know what's going on, they're not like, really into it. I understand, like, you see, some kids, I used to do too, like, like people, like, like, catch so weird, like, kids would, like, laugh and just, like, you know, I would, I do that too, but it's, it's not good, and like, some kids just don't know, like, there's some out kids who don't even know about God right now. JJ, why do you fall asleep in church? <laughs> Eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you fall asleep in church? Because Daniel, you're too far away. They be quiet. When they be quiet too much, I get a little tired and bored. <laughs> you think if you was in kids' ministry, you'd fall asleep? Like you because you're interesting active. there's a lot of activities and yeah. there's a lot of things like, to do so you see so basically okay you see so basically if they would bring the kids ministry back you think you would get hyped back right because yeah. you remember you had assignments mm -hmm. what was your um last experience with kids ministry me or did it all of y'all oh my last experience was lit until like we left that kind of side mm -hmm. part, so Mine's How about yours? Is when we did practice yeah, and um, he's learning one thing, one more thing about God before we left. Yes. She gave us one more sh paper to cover yeah. about God. Yeah, like and like, oh yeah, and that's when I learned the the short prayer that Jesus told the children, our Father. I learned that there. Yes, you see. Learned a lot from kids' ministry. I learned a lot. So you could say with me that kids' ministry is one of the best things that happened to children for the church world. Yeah. Because okay. they feel there, there's, there's their space. This is where they get to worship and praise God in their own way. Yeah. Right, Danny, you would agree? What did you used to do in kids' ministry? I hope you didn't used to tremble and sleep. Yeah. What did you used to do in kids' ministry? Hurry up, I'm waiting for your question. <laughs> that's mine, that's mine. Why do you take so long to answer anything? Is it the shyness, Daniel? Huh, you can't be that shy. I'm shy. You, you haven't answered a question yet. All you do is that. Yeah. Eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> answer the question, Daniel. Jumping Jacks in church. Did they have Jumping Jacks in kids ministry? I'm thinking, no, only did. for fun. We did. Yeah, for fun, like to work, like Simon says, like you know something. Yeah. Okay. And so we, before we leave, what is your goal in life? Where do you want to be with Christ? I think my relationship. Oh. My goal with Christ yeah, is to become His servant, and like He like talks to me at nighttime, giving me visions and stuff. Like how to like portray and like like I could tell you like if you're a Christian and you're a child or, or an adult, I think fifty percent of people like are willing to die for Christ and some people just don't have the like they don't they have heart. They they'll do but they're confused about it. Okay, Dan um JJ. What is your girl? Where do you wanna be with Christ? Oh, um, I just want him to give me blessings, my family, give me 
money for we can have a great time when we grow up and make and make us have all our dreams we always wanted. And what about Christ? <laughs> what do you want your relationship to be with we Christ? You don't know what she means? How far do you want to be? Do you want to be a servant? What do you want to do for him? What do you want to do for him? Oh. Do you want to preach? What do you see yourself? I want to give him, um, you know how Abel gave, gave God something. Or oh, like Abel and Cain? Yeah. Oh, you want to do sacrifices, sacrifices. for him? I okay. want to have a farm. A, a farm. A greenhouse for God. Like, uh, like, do God even still take sacrifices now? He do. Like, Some people, sheep. you taking care of a poor person, or you giving to a poor friend, or you supporting someone who doesn't have, you visit the sick, that is a form of sacrifice. When you take your money and you give it to somebody who's more in need, that is a sacrifice. What else, Jay? I can, I can put, I can put stuff I plant in, in fire to, to make them see that I do a great job in life. Amen. How about you, Daniel? What do you want to be with Christ? To the That's what JJ said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what JJ said. You have to have your own stuff. Where do you want to be with Christ, Don? I knew it. Stop saying what I said. Right. You want to be in heaven. All right, amen. So, guys, today was great to interviewing you. Oh, yeah. uh, and comment down below what videos we should do. That's Christian based. Basically. Yes, Christian based video. And with all the Pierre family, we all say bye. bye. bye.